what is happening there, citizens of the reject nation? I see you. You see me. We're going to watch a movie called I See You. How did we stumble upon signing and react to this? Well, it's a horror movie. And we've been loving covering horror here. And it's number one on Netflix. I was like, I don't know what this film is. I've never even I, heard of I've this. I've never <laughs> even heard of it. It's not a Netflix original. It's an actual movie that made its way to number one. So we said we're watching it today. Who knows? Maybe it'll become a segment where we're just like, what is number one on Netflix? <laughs> Let's watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can see us, please go ahead and leave a like. You know you'd love to do that. Also, subscribe and click the notification bell because we're covering more movies these days. As always, full length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with your own copy. Available for our super sexy rejects at our Patreon page. Thank you all who joined. We got so much crap over there that you would love to fill your minds with. Crap galore is what we call it. And I think that's all. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch this and see what's going on. Thank you for being here. Ah, uh, Derry. D E R R Y. <laughs> Damn, this kid does his own stunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he trained a long time for this, actually. Insurance almost wouldn't let him do it. Watch out for bears, my dude. Whoa, cool shot. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Gnarly. Jeez. I love this. I don't even know what this is <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sounds like a Trent Reznor score. <laughs> this movie's weird. <laughs> I'm loving it so far. Is that Helen Hunt? Is it? I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell either. Have you seen my mug? The one with the sunflowers on it? Need money for school? Do you want to connect with me as a person? Here's $150. <laughs> Get yourself a hot lunch. So when did you start sleeping on the couch? I keep on passing out in front of the TV. Not that I blame you. Mom's a bitch. <laughs> so what, you getting into fights now? They're being assholes. That's no excuse. Don't defend yourself. So had the other kid alone. The other two kids. One of them cried. And pooped his pants. Good audition scene. <laughs> Both of you. I didn't want to wake you earlier. There are pancakes. I already ate. I'll see you later. Greg. That's my name. Whoa! Is this like your marriage? Whoa! This is like my marriage. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I thought we got bulletproof <laughs> windows. I thought we installed the three inch thick ones. <laughs> oh, you on my lemon drink. Did he put the mug up there? No. Yeah. Just a spider. You're an addict. Ten years old. Went missing on a bike ride last night near Jupiter Park. Just like Michael King. Michael King was abducted cycling to a corner store in the city. Not Michael Kane. <laughs> you lead on this. Got it. Not Roadmaster any longer. <laughs> I feel like there's a like a 
large demonic presence it's with like over looming shots they keep happy my exact thought yeah it's like if you took the evil dead pov and just made it really ominous and slow and just everywhere <laughs> it's literally like something is closing in <laughs> yeah yeah oh what a messed up ghost <laughs> it's like the camera is a character connor connor Just a window repair, man. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who let you in? A kid of yours. Uh, very polite. You, you trained her well. Ooh. Who? I would not just uh, let that go. Yeah, I would follow that guy outside. <laughs> Justin was last seen wearing a green soccer jersey. And Terry... I don't want answers. I went fast. I want to know where that kid sleeps. I want to know where he eats. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where he gets his bike wheels from. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Or should we bring it in? Yeah, you can, uh, you can bag it. Wow. There awkward. hasn't been a pocket knife in this town in 30 years. <laughs> you remember Cool Gordon's before your time? Was oh, of course I remember. The green knife. But Gordon, he's... Yeah, yeah, I helped put him in. He ain't getting out. So what are you thinking? Copycat. Reading that with a plastic fork. Little girl, little girl ghost. Could be. Who died, yeah. Yeah, green pocket knife girl ghost. Hey, did you let a repairman in today when I wasn't here? You screw a repairman? Okay, you're angry. How could you do that? Answer the question. <laughs> Look, sweetie. Oh, you don't get to call me that. You think pancakes and fancy dinners are going to make it up? No, I don't. You know. ruined our family and you should f***ing pay for it. Wow. Good callback. <laughs> Nine-year-old Michael King went missing just... Okay. That repairman they sent out, I think he stole from us. You what? All of our silverware is completely gone. He said something strange about some girl who... I don't know what's wrong with him. He's not upset at me for cheating. He's upset about the boy what? Oh. That repairman stole the photo. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic artwork. Ambient that helps calm the anxiety. Hey, how'd you get in here? Where are you going? Oh. Is something terrible about to happen to this animal? Come on. I'm not gonna hurt you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wowie. All right, you're hilarious, but let me out now. Connor? That's not Connor. It's unresolved trauma. Connor! I heard pounding, so I came up Where's to Connor? Stu He's out. I have no idea what's going on in this movie. I know, it's like all the tropes with none of the traditional tonal buildup. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue. I know you can't just forgive me, but I want you to know I'll do whatever it takes to Did make Did you want to get married? You really think we'd still be together if you hadn't gotten pregnant? I'm trying, Greg. It's hard being Greg. Seems like it, man. I had no idea what you had to deal with. Oh. It's a little late to be playing video games, isn't it? It's a little late to be cheating on dad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what in God's name is that? Good night. She has a weird false reassuring way of delivering her lines <laughs> that's the counselor manipulating you but yeah i feel like she's not actually saying what she's really feeling what is happening in this movie 
like stuff's just happening. Whoa. I bust out them rubber sheets. That's embarrassing. You're a drunk. Cold board. The MO is an exact match of a serial child abductor you put away 15 years ago. They sent what they still had on hand. Jesus. Huh. I sent Larson to track down the two boys that escaped Braun and Travers, but they might remember details now that could help impede Gordon's defense. I interviewed both those boys extensively when it happened. Then why'd you end up with us, Ray? Huh. You got too close to the truth. Tommy! Tommy! There, there's some nice men here to see you. He's like absolutely terrified of these. This Tommy guy. He ain't never been the same. I still have that brontosaurus you gave me. Whoa. <laughs> what? How is this all tethered? <laughs> this is a secret Slender Man movie or something. Did you do that to your face, Tommy? I, I did it to myself. After the little house, it's a magic house. It disappears. What does that mean? It means you're never going to find him. Ugh. Are they living in the magic house? It must be. I'm still not sure if this movie has these. What is happening? Whoa. Hey. What are you doing? Dude, it's Sam Merlot. <laughs> you just cannot be here. My son is here. Did I freak you out no, by what I said last that. time? Because that was a whole different. Because I'm in love with you. Oh, no. Oh, God. I don't want to be with you. Jackie, listen, I know you're scared. I'm Todd, scared stop. Well, what we have, you know the. Ah! Whoa! I was gonna say, where's Connor at? God! What the. You're the worst kind of person to have an affair with. <laughs> loud and show up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no discretion whatsoever. <laughs> you wanna get caught. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Something about the walls. As soon as Connor goes to school, I think I should take you to the hospital. This is a terrible situation. Yeah. He's going to stab him with that toothbrush. This kid plays every moment like I'm in a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> how else would they know how to feel? They're calling me. Did you leave your phone somewhere? <laughs> Ooh. I'm chasing a fancy candy. Uh. Get in the car. I'll be right there. Someone's in the house. Or some. And they're killing thing. children and leaving pocket knives. <laughs> you can tell me I won't be mad. I just want oh! you to be ah! Wowie! I'm so sorry. My son is out there. Greg is going to find him. Go, Greg. <laughs> Got this. Keep that stapler close. Michael watches out his childhood window. What are you looking for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. Chances are I knew the kidnapper. He grabs him, drops one of the knives to throw us off. Maybe. Solid theory. Or he stops the kid. No one's found that yet. <laughs> It's just so <laughs> well hidden. <laughs> so well camouflaged. <laughs> Sorry, it took so long. I didn't. Yes. This is a 
complicated situation to be in. Classic jump scare. Help me. I explained that we were over and out of nowhere. It just fell. Why didn't you call an it ambulance? Was Connor. Oh, you don't know that. He's been so angry. So angry he tried to kill someone. No, no, you don't get to lose it right now. <laughs> Do you know what will happen to our son? I won't be able to protect him. You gotta take the fall for this. Hide the body. Put a green pocket knife on it. Go change out of those clothes. This is fascinating. There's like two very definitive different stories happening here. And they both feel equally bleak and yet somehow so disparate in details. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, how is this connected exactly? Other than the characters. Good fellas. <laughs> Practical lighting for an ominous tone. The movie has really good music. Yeah. They even insert like a, a slight child voice there, like a little giggle or something. Yeah, like a little echoes. Oh, the photos are gone. Did you see that? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was so engrossed by the, the, the shapes of everything, but yeah, that wall is completely blank. Damn. <laughs> the silverware? Oh! Is it all in her head? Is it that movie? Or his head? It's always one in one of their heads. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. That's very human. Barrier. <laughs> yeah, either grab a shovel and help me or hop in. I feel like I should know what frogging is. I don't know what frogging is. Is this like a furry thing, but for amphibious types? What, like living in the walls? Hey, Connor. <laughs> you want some pancakes? <laughs> oh, oh, the frog. Oh. No. So they were actually under the bed. Yeah. Well, it can't be in all their heads because they were gone. Sure. This this makes more sense. Unless it's in the kid's head. Could be. He was there the whole time, so. Jackie! Uh oh. Huh. Holy shit. Whoa! Oh, no. Drive straight to the hospital. Don't stop for Please anything. I'll call you when us. I'm on my way. Find Jackie. I've got to find the son of a bitch who did this. Drive. Oh. I'm watching you even now. Damn, this is a great streaming movie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Perfect for Netflix and chilling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Nice of you to hang those back up. Why they take all the photos? That was for us, the audience. You make a lot of noise. <laughs> and you can't really call for backup in this situation because you'd have to explain where you were. Ooh. That's mean. <laughs> What does this song symbolize? 
Yeah, I'm like, is it one of their songs? Is it the themes of the lyrics? <laughs> Frogger. <laughs> yeah, you got to get him out into the street to defeat him. No, turn around. He doesn't deserve to die. <laughs> no. He doesn't no, deserve no, this. No, no, no. <laughs> Interesting. Nice cut. Okay. And now it's a VHS movie. <laughs> Go, Indy, go. Hell yeah! Holy shit! You see this view? It's a fridge? What the hell? <laughs> Never seen a fridge before. They take so many pictures. Creepy mom. <laughs> yes, true lady. Are they actually ex-military, or is that just a military bag? Ta-da! You gotta be kidding me. I'm not. Are they also killing the kid? In the What? what? <laughs> I just doesn't <laughs> see <I'm> trying to <laughs> connect this. I feel like this could be a red herring. <laughs> it's a good thing that these people have a guest room. Uh, that's what you want to look for, that you can make headquarters. Oh. This is allowed because, you know, um... Oh, interesting. This is the best part of the day. We get to be loud and we have the house ourselves and we can move about freely. But when they come home, we have to stick to our hiding places. It's all, so it's like only worth it for this part of the day. <laughs> Alec, you awake? Alec. Alec. I can't see anything. Night vision. So turned on right now. Ooh. Nice. Nice shot. This movie's got nice restrained drone stuff. <laughs> it's like a weird Rashomon. That this guy overstayed his welcome. Dude, I don't think you understand how dangerous this is. Now we go to jail for breaking so many laws just by being here. The fun is to not come close to getting caught. That's not fun at all. <laughs> End of the word. Oh. Catch up to you. <laughs> BJ. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually, that's actually, that fits perfectly. <laughs> I see the book of revelations happening outside. <laughs> Hell rain. Come <laughs> on. Idiot. Bastard. So a letter where it starts with B. Mmm. Mission accomplished. There's so many places to hide shit down there. We need a quick escape. That's our route. Yes, I care about that. Wouldn't it be kind of funny to mess with them? Take some random shit, make them think they're going crazy. Two days, this guy went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really took the assignment to heart. <laughs> Just a second. Just let him in. He doesn't know you don't live here. And then she became an accomplice on top of already being a criminal. Oh, would you put in the pills? Dude, I would have bailed on this with this kind of guy. Yeah. Let's leave the house now. Don't even tell him. Another kid got swiped. Last seen wearing a green soccer jersey. Went missing in Troubadour. Is he one of the kids who survived or something? Come on. I'm not gonna hurt you. Connor? You mean to tell me when Helen Hunt came over here, she wasn't like, 
why is this door locked with this with thing? a friggin hockey <laughs> or yeah. lacrosse yeah. stick yeah you failed to mention that part <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, God. Uh, oh, my God. Sicko. That is too far, man. Yeah. Oh. Saz. <laughs> <laughs> Odd. We don't terrorize them. We coexist. And what's the point? Well, I mean it. Come on, please. You gotta ditch this guy. You sh you should push him off the roof. <laughs> Okie dokie. Maybe she'll just bail right now. She's got to be the one who's warning Connor, though. What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. Really that the third call the cops. No, no, they're not. No, we have to get out of here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, leave. We're leaving right now. Okay. She made the wrong choice of words. He should have just left. He should have just left. It's cleverly orchestrated the way they did this. Yeah. You just up on the roof? What? No, what are you doing? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I wonder if you go back and if, if, he, if he was in the shot. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I wonder, yeah, if you can spot them in, in various moments, maybe. Yeah. That's clever. Oh, does she end up hitting him? We're in this together now. Yeah. Or is she just going to witness this? Yeah. Just messing with their sanity, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 damn. Twist upon twist. Dug. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, that's gnarly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Everyone's the gaslighting movie. this woman. <laughs> movie got me there. Yeah, me too. That was good. That is, a, that is a solid development. That clinches a lot of things, I think. No huh. in there. Good man. So is he the guy with the green pocket knives then? Holy shit. Wait, was it their stuff that he just put in the trunk? Like the kid it was his? Maybe I, she had like a like a, a camo. Oh, like a, well, what did he put in the trunk? That might just have been a, a different duffel bag with the bat in it. Sorry, it took so long. I wasn't. Oh my god! Why didn't you call an ambulance? Oh Why didn't you call an ambulance? <laughs> what? Imagine having all this knowledge. I know. <laughs> she's in the worst position possible. <laughs> Karma really came for her. <laughs> that is oh, hilarious. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What's up with this guy? There's like a sadness. Is he like the evil twin that they separated at birth? You mean like he has a personal motive against the family? Uh, maybe. Well, I mean, that that's my convoluted theory. My other theory is just like maybe he's got some weird family trauma that this is bringing up or something. I keep cutting him like almost crying. Get out. There's so much going on in this house. <laughs> Please. I'm calling the cops. No, I am not gonna let you ruin Get this for me. Get off me! Oh yeah. Oh damn it. Oop. The <laughs> it's this house. <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> Fucking button. <laughs> button key. <laughs> Always in such close proximity. He's like punishing this guy. <laughs> no. He's awake. No. Oh god, and to wind up with him. <laughs> she must think he knows. <laughs> This is so convoluted, but I <laughs> wouldn't have it any other no. way. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is so con <laughs> so stacked with shit right now. <laughs> this is an overlapping Venn diagram yeah. of horrible human nightmares. <laughs> oh, of course. He's the guy. So he is the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Why would he be doing it? I don't know. He's a serial killer. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. 911, what's your emergency? Location? I don't know. I would just be like on the ground. On the no, 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 hello? Hello, can you hear hello? me? Shh. You're becoming dumb. Stop. Put as much distance between you and that car as you can. Ooh. Don't go toward the light. Perfect opening. <laughs> Go to that end so you can see down the hole. No, no. Help us! Help us! <laughs> help us? Please, please, please. Oh, it's them. Okay, in the hole. Yeah. yeah no, please. please. I'm not gonna leave you. Uh, hurry, I'm please. Please. Hurry, he's out there. Help. Shh. It's gonna be okay. Come on. No, I like you. I know. It's not my type, so I'm taking it back to town. It's going to be edited and everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you weren't concerned when your kid was kidnapped? Before yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Who's <laughs> copycatting in my own damn house? That's interesting. You are I was scared for him like 40 minutes ago. Yeah. Now I'm just scared of him. Exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. This other guy's pretty awful, but damn. And now I'm just hoping that this guy maybe steps maybe. up and takes him down. <laughs> He's got to have some connection to this. Yeah. It's probably like someone's brother. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> I should put a little makeup. Listen, <laughs> all I need you to do is stand up, okay? Treated like an intruder. Just stand up. Don't do it. He needs to make it look like he caught an intruder. <laughs> you know what I'm there you go. Now it's a vengeance movie. Yes. <laughs> the woman I thought I killed was killed. <laughs> I, I no was one killed her but me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was an axe in the garage. Yes. Assume your final form. Consequences, man. Do you have another gun? Almost devil's rejects like. Yeah. In a flip flop between who's 
Who's the real bad guy? Yeah, who's gone too far for real? Where is the line? Squatters, man. It's like the less tortury version of the collector. It's a fun experiment in perspective, this movie. It's a fun ride. Led by Helen Hunt (laughs) in her finest role yet. Opposite, not quite Dennis Quaid. Oh, come on. Come on, Frogger. Do it for the kids. Because he chose the house too, right? Yeah. Oh. Come on, Frogger. Come on, buddy. Come on, Helen Hunt, walk in. Nope, 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 be done. He done. Come on, you got one more twist up your sleeve. Stick the landing. Don't make me hate this. It's more like a Saw movie in some way. No, yeah. (laughs) In some ways, this really reminds me of The Collector, which in itself is... And he came here to terrorize the lead detective on that case. She tied up his son. He was going to be next. I stopped you just in time. You shoot me, you're shooting a cop. You have any idea what's coming for you? Please be recording this. Please. Yeah, he was a victim. You don't understand. Huh. When I was a little boy, I didn't give a f- <laughs> Wow! Oh no. Whoa! That was a shoulder clip, right? I believe so. Detective Spitzky. Oh my god, he was an undercover cop. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my badge cover. <laughs> <laughs> I've been observing this man for months on end. To catch a predator. Oh, he got rid of the bull. Oh, God. I Ooh, he, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, please, no. <laughs> Put the raw man behind bars. <laughs> See, you had every right to cheat on you him. You should have cheated. It was good that you did. And they'd be able to identify. Uh, yeah, the jersey and all that. It's a little bit like prisoners, too. Yeah, let's not give them. <laughs> it's not the, uh, I want to say it's high caliber. No, not as much of a film. <laughs> that right is. Wow. His hair was black. <laughs> Yoshi. He always had the Yoshi. Yeah, it's like that. It's fun. Last line is Helen Hunt going, What the f? <laughs> <laughs> the smash the black. <laughs> Don't just think because dad's a silly or a killer, I forgive you for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> it's the principle of the counts. <laughs> what, how, what was this movie? Yeah, where did how this did come he, from and why didn't I hear did about he, it? How did it get so big? What's going on? We yeah. gotta look up some stuff. Gotta ask Boxofficemojo.com. Did this movie make any money? Was it released in theaters? It made like a million dollars. <laughs> okay. Dang. Um, not a lot. 
but it's good to see that it's like picking up on streaming. Sure. I mean, it's like a perfect movie to see on streaming. Yeah, yeah, totally. All right. Before we look at the Rotten Tomato score for any of this. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, I enjoyed it. It it started off in a way that was like, okay, this feels like one of those low budget mystery <laughs> thriller movies. I can I can feel the restraint on budget, and they're doing more with their camera work. And uh, as much as I was enjoying it, because it had a bit of not, not as ugly or nasty, but it still had like I haven't seen Collector, um, but I've I've seen all the Saw movies. <laughs> and, Collector and it, is about a guy who breaks into a house because he's desperate, and then finds out that it's a serial killer's house in there, basically like Saw traps inside. Like the Saw, the team who took over Saw wrote it <laughs> and directed it. So oh, okay, yeah. Well, this movie. Um, I was like, all right, I'm not sure. It did a great job in the first half of it of, okay, is this like an immediate real crime Mm -hmm. thriller? Is it supernatural? (laughs) Like, I couldn't tell what was happening because it it was so questioning of how is the... The story of 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 a family with this affair situation and this cop who is coming off the heels of dealing with this affair, now investigating this mystery of a missing child, tying into whatever crazy shenanigans are happening at home. Um, And then they did the thing where it, uh, they changed, they changed, changed, and I was like, okay, we're the barbarian. (laughs) Now we're seeing it from the perspective of the people who have been living in the home. And, First, I was like, That's interesting. And then I started going, well, maybe this, this is not as, it's kind of undercutting some of the tension. Then it just started getting fucking crazy. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Then it started did. getting like really, then then we reached impressive. Like, I, it was a combination of this is ridiculous <laughs> to this is impressive. Yeah. Because once they laid out that, especially the fact that it is purposeful why this guy is here, because they're pitching him as, He's the serial killer. They did a really good job on uh, when I when I referenced Devil's Rejects of making you go, ah, oh, they're the victim. No, wait, they're the bad guys. <laughs> I don't know who to fear for. Yes, I don't know who to root for. I'm actually worried for the bad guy now. <laughs> oh, what an interesting the flip. <laughs> he wasn't a bad. He actually wasn't a bad. I mean, he's unnecessarily yeah. torturing the rest of the family, but that is to torture the main guy. Yeah, of course, to torture yeah. the cop, um, which I thought was great. It had a real cool mood i mean like a bigger budget they probably could have allowed this to be more of a dread heavy film sure you know like that, i think that was it when you said in prisoners i was like yeah it was a little bit more like deliberate and dread heavy and or this was moving like this moves fast it's yeah a, it's it's enticing though like the whole movie is enticing and sure. it has a really great like what the hell is going on factor to it and then when they and i like the midpoint of it because because it's like we're telling you what's going on but there's so much more to uncover yes. as it keeps going. <laughs> and yeah. I thought that was great because I thought, ah, you're you're revealing it a little too early. And and then they, because like even when the girl dies, um, or when he thinks he killed the, his friend, yeah, uh, he seems concerned. It's not like he just snapped, you know. Yeah, yeah he's and, not completely amoral. Yeah, so I think the last half of this movie is like very impressive on how they handled it because. It does, whenever you think the movie's done telling you its tricks and now you're just watching, you know, the answer, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, no, there's more There's more to discover about the reveals right up until the very end. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, because you were saying, you, you said, like, you feel like there's something more personal with him. And I was, I didn't quite pick up on that right away. But when you said that, it made me go, maybe he's one of the victims. Yeah. <laughs> and so to see... It's a, it's a good tag team effort there in the mystery. Um, well done. Well done. With well done. <laughs> but the but but yeah, I thought it was I thought it was well done. I thought it was really well done. Um, I would have liked some type of resolve with Helen Hunt's character <laughs> and, uh, poor woman. <laughs> and the child because that is the first half of this movie, and then they kind of just go. Well, she learns that's done. Yep, and uh, <laughs> so they're just gonna be left to pick up the shards of their broken <laughs> yeah. lives, I guess. Yeah, because it, it it's it's more 
I, I thought it was in, I was really looking forward to seeing how this all pays off. Yeah. You know, um, because I, I like the idea, of especially looking back in retrospect, that him killing the guy who she had an affair with. That was probably the thing that allows him the sense of closure to be like, come in here. Like, I inflict the trauma now on you. Yeah, the pain now on we're you. even. <laughs> and, then, and then he's like, and she's saying, I'm sorry. And then he holds her, you know. Uh, yeah. It's so this it's, probably in his mind is is how retribution happens for the situation. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. It's, it's nasty. Um, yeah, but I still would have liked a little bit of, a little bit of re- retribution there, but it, it, it is interesting. Yeah. It starts off like a fair, and how is this gonna how, like? Is this an emotional turmoil that sent him to this p- point? Uh, and I like that they didn't make him a copycat, but that he was the original killer the whole time, which just makes the whole plot even more ridiculous. Sure. But he was. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. It does. It's a little. That's a little silly. It's a little silly, but I like it. It's it, the it's perfect fun. crime. Like yeah. lead investigator is the guy. Like yeah. okay, like I can see why that would work, but it's also on top of all these other circumstances. Yeah, it just feels so high concept. It's like lead investigator was the guy the whole time. Yeah, and that's a saw movie thing. That's yeah. that's <laughs> like, what I mean. Yeah. It, it, it isn't that it's, it isn't that he this guy snapped because as I thought, okay, maybe he snapped because of affair, and. And that, and now he's become copycat guy. You know, like is is that what happens? But no, no control. All this time, he's been the guy. Yeah, <laughs> which just makes it even just like sillier to me. Sure, sure. <laughs> and while you know he's got to compensate for being gifted this beautiful house and this beautiful life, and you know he's got to feel like uh, he's getting control somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This this was uh, yeah a really fun and. Uh, unfolding sort of experience where like yeah at the top you're like this is about to become like Blumhouse hereditary or something and I do like that at the end of the movie like yeah you have the cheating element like they set up all these very classic tropes of like ah you know dad's trying to kind of bond with the kid and like there's been a marital affair and they're just trying to get along and so at first you're like okay we're getting this kind of standard issue drama to flavor this weird WTF experience so yeah like at the beginning it feels like a haunting movie or something like that or yeah some kind of weird strangers thing and so you're like okay Blumhouse meets A24's creep dread less in your face style but then yeah the the it reminded me of multiple movies definitely strangers and and definitely like I said the collector but at the same time like the execution and the ultimate like place that it landed felt very kind of fresh and and invigorating and unique to this even though, yeah, and, and Prisoners is in there, too. Like, there are so many things it clearly learned from, but I thought it made for this really great ride that they really, for the most part, it's like, you know, did he, how did he know that the boyfriend would get there and then time his, you know, ride with his partner to go get that file so that he could kill him? Like, there are little things like that where I'm like, okay, how does some of the logic work? But for the most part, uh, yeah, the, the game of perspectives and just the ever... T- deepening hole of nasty sort of psychology uh yeah just like i think it's all kind of brought together by that stuff it's like it's i i'm always kind of open to and and welcoming of of a sort of what the hell is happening experience but it's up to the movie to know what it's doing enough to bring all that together to make that worth its while and here i thought it was like here i th- at the beginning of the movie or part way through i thought okay this is this is going to feel like a, a a less fresh and interesting barbarian or something where it's like you have this weird tension at the beginning and then like a complete uh, reorienting of the stakes and circumstances and all that and then you've got this like balls to the walls payoff whereas here like i thought it really did nicely to again transcend that you know comparison point into its own sort of twisted journey to where like yeah at the outset it feels like okay this uh, detective is trying to figure out a serial killer case while also being tormented in his personal life uh but then at the end of the movie you just realize like oh no the movie's about this kid who escaped this guy's clutches ultimately takes his revenge and brings him down and so like it's cool to start with one line log line and end on a completely different one yeah, I thought it was neat too because the the movie did a good job on selling me that he's a psycho, and I too yeah. appreciated that with the frogging thing. I, like part of me then at the at that moment was like, oh, okay, so you read up on frogging and you're like, I'm gonna make a cool frogging horror movie where people think they're going insane, but it's really just people living in the wild. But even that's been done, and so it's like it took a bunch of these familiar styles of story that are all very like 
in the zeitgeist and managed to build them into something kind of primal and classic, but that also like really nicely, yeah. you know, purposes those, uh, you know, kind of current elements in a way that's very sort of satisfying and, and still sort of current feeling. That's interesting. On, um, I wonder why this because this this article is from March eleventh, twenty twenty two. Does it have anything to do with the movie I See You? I don't. Uh, maybe. I mean, because, no, it's not even mentioned in this article. Huh. It's a thing that, that um, yeah, has been kind of an internet urban legend, or or there have at least been reports I, of yeah, people living I, in other people's. I'm just walls. trying to I'm trying to see if like if uh, yeah, no, no, I'm saying that it is for this article to be published in March 2022 sure. when this movie hits number one trending in March 2022. Because it's a sponsored article. Low budget, but it's not. <laughs> but I'm saying like maybe people were looking up frogging that led to like them discovering this movie. Sure. Like the concept of it. Oh, I mean, I've heard of like squatters. I've heard the term squatters and squatters doing this kind of thing. Was like there's all, there's concepts of squatters where you can't be living secretly in your home or you could just, you know, be dicks about it. Uh, but well, yeah, this is like squatting with a game element mixed yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know who would document this shit. I know. That's the like, stupidest you... part of the movie to me is like, why would you doc? You didn't even need the documentation side of it. Yeah, uh, I feel like you could have just had them recording just because. It's like they needed an excuse to. That's part of the weakest part of the scripting to me. Is like you, you yourself are saying this is illegal. We can get. So what are you gonna do with this footage? Yeah, yeah, and why are you trying to disseminate it to help other people do it too when that would only kind of serve to like help people recognize when it's happening that yeah. much easier? You put your face on camera, you're talking, I'm like, this is a terrible idea, lady. Yeah. Why would you do this? You have a cell phone and everything. Yeah. <laughs> why are you Keep in? the masks on and do it. Like maybe and that could necessitate yeah. the mask a lot more than just sort of a random motif that matches the activity. Yeah. Uh that was the silliest part to me. And it seemed like a, a part that they included so that way they could have the moment where the cop goes over. You know, when I'm like, there's other ways you could have gotten there. Yeah, um, that's so, it. Feels like it's something out of a VHS movie. <laughs> yeah, it was one. It was There's a one part because I thought other than that, like I liked the the actress a lot. Uh, whoever yeah. played the main Frogger, I thought that she she was great, and I loved the situation that she was in. I just I just loved how it. it just kept getting stacked, which is more ridiculous. I really liked the last half. I enjoyed the first half. And I really like the last half a lot. The last half was yeah. was what it gets. The it, it, I feel like that's when it really embraces what it wanted to be. And I feel like it would make for a fun rewatch mm -hmm. to see if you could ever see these hidden spots. I love how yeah. they play with the perspective on you're going back to the previous scenes that you saw in the first half. And you could see where they were the whole time. And it's believable yeah. that you couldn't catch them. It's it, it It's not... It never the movie never made me go. How could they not have suspected that there was someone living there, or mm -hmm. how could they not have seen? They made that very plausible and how it played out. And I thought the way they handled the reveals too was great. Mm -hmm. Like like when the cop hit um, Sam from True Blood, when he when he <laughs> did hit him in the basement with the bat, you know, you it you're immediately thinking it's the guy she's frogging with, yeah. and then the way the camera does the reveal to, to like from starts off on the dead body and then pulls over to the left, you're like, oh shit, yeah. that's the cop. <laughs> like, sure. Like, oh, this is wild. Did he just kill him, or is there something to do with? Uh, it, it has your mind going, and right up until the end, and I thought that was a lot of fun. I thought they had a lot of fun. I would have liked to resolve though because I have a very clear plot. Because it's like you have two plots in the beginning of this movie. You have the affair family situation right there. And is someone stalking me in this house? What's going on? And an investigative mystery. And then they kind of completely drop the other one. Yeah. And I guess the movie's saying that's resolved with the guy being dead. And the they made amends by hugging it out at that moment. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Is, that, is the movie saying that's when it's amended? And I feel like there was a little bit more to it. That they kind of just drop, but uh, but I also do appreciate they get someone like Helen Hunt in here, where like what is the poster for this movie? Um, <laughs> is it just her looking concerned? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play this at like 1.5 speed, just like super <laughs> super quick on my end. The ICU trailer, and just to see, see if they how like much they give away. Like, did they lead with Helen Hunt in, in, in the trailer? I'm just gonna play it like super super speedy, just to get the visuals for it. But I'm not gonna play it on screen. Um, yeah, 1.75 speedy. Let's go through this. Yeah, they're mainly leading with the first half, and they're mainly leading with Helen Hunt. Um, 
Yeah, and yeah. Just the sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's smart. Like you leave with Helen Hunt in the in, in your build up, and you feel like she's the main character, mm-hmm. and she's going to be going through the torture torture stuff as is happening because of her. So I think it's smart in that way. The movie, the movie's, the movie's like it's more impressive than I expected it to matter. Yeah. I had no expectations. I was more like, "What's this random movie trending?" Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. No, it's it's like tight and clever, and and it has that sort of disorienting quality, and it manages to earn that too. And yeah, it, yeah, it, it snakes between being different kinds of movies, and uh, yeah, like there's something about the way that they just commit to her that does. It's like the two female characters in the movie ultimately are sort of exonerated of a lot of things even though they are you know guilty of certain parts of the web of you know uh, mess uh and so yeah it's like because mindy dies and that's a real bummer uh i feel like it could have been nice to at least compliment of like okay helen hunt lives and also maybe we just get some kind of emotional payoff for her because she has been so manipulated throughout this whole situation. Yeah. Uh, and, and I mean, Mindy has been too, to an extent, I mean, for obviously better reasons, but yeah, the- thematically it would be, I guess it's not in the movie's main concerns, but it would be nice to have. And for the son too, like, I don't know, uh, something other than just like, oh, okay, they're going to come home to an even worse yeah. subversion of their like, entire lives. What yeah. becomes of the son who like already hates the shit out of his mom? Yeah, and, and who, you know, has at least fa- had some kind of uh, comfortable rapport or some, some, you know, refuge with his dad. Yeah. You know, who's now had that taken from him. On top of being in a situation where he thought he was being kidnapped by the actual serial killer, but he wasn't. <laughs> yeah. But it turns out that that's his dad anyway, so he might as well have been. <laughs> like, there's there's a lot of interesting stuff there, and part of me wonders, like, I could, if this had done better, I could see how this could turn into some kind of weirdo franchise. But, but yeah, I, I don't I guess know, man. Could... It's, it's getting it's it's number one on Netflix. Sure. This no, I can uh, yeah. random low budget ass movie that barely made any money in the box office is is like suddenly killing it and that's really cool uh, yeah, like it's cool, cool to see it yeah yeah it's cool to finish one of these and be like wow like oh, while this is like the perfect netflix movie because too if you're watching in your house it's going to get you thinking about every little sound you hear but also and the kind you would talk with people you, this yeah. is the, i think this is the kind of movie you would be like trying to guess with your buddies if you're watching at yeah home. yeah you know yeah just wait just wait you won't be able to put it together and and uh yeah, it's one of those movies. It's like very gratifying. It's like people use the word hidden gem a lot, but I feel like this is a good example of that. It's like, yeah, this didn't do huge when it came out at first, but I hope people start to yeah. talk about it because this seems like it should be. It, it's good enough to exist in the conversation with your recent barbarians and other things like that. You know, smiles or whatever else. Like I probably, I probably liked this in some ways more than Smile. At least uh, I would. I don't know if I would. I don't know how it compared I think, to Barbarian. I think on production wise like there were parts of it production wise that definitely felt like um like especially in the sound design when it came to like dialogue moments where i could where i felt a little bit less like i don't want to i don't know if the right words amateur is it amateur film is i wouldn't say is more of the sound design where you could feel some of it where this is still like big early filmmaker you know whereas a movie like smile Sure, it is while that follows a little bit more of a traditional. It's path. more blockbustery than this. Yeah, this th- that th- I'm talking just on the filmmaking side. Yeah. But if I were to learn, like these guys got another movie coming out, it'd be interesting to see how they step up their game in terms of just the craftsman side of because they, they they go crazy a little bit with like the cinematography of these long drawn out shots and, and going through the houses and these overhead drone shots and a little bit of these landscape moments and i would be curious to see like okay now how they up it with their dp in the, in the next one to really just give it that extra edge yeah of not just like saban films is that is actually not bad company <laughs> so, no, they come yeah, out yeah. with some interesting stuff and then sometimes there. they come up with things that are extremely low budget lo-fi yeah. and, you know and so once in a while it's not the greatest thing where you could tell this is very amateur filmmaking or low butt or something that you know the the bargain bin kind of <laughs> example and in the beginning i was going i guess this is like right above that sure. in, in the beginning of this film i was like i guess it's like right above there and but then it became something much more that i thought was actually impressive and it, it did remind me of the days at when saw first came out sure you're getting all this like influx movies of things they call torture porn 
and this was not that genre of what they even associate with that genre. Uh, but it kind of had that like B movie flavor. Well, about yeah, it. yeah. It, 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 kitchen sink pulls like all of the different kinds of dread from all the sort of popular yeah. subcategories and just packs them into the same movie. Yeah. Cause yeah, it's like, you feel like you are watching a, you're watching a psychological torture, no matter which way you're looking at it in a sense, because everybody's situation is, like, no one's situation is in a status quo or in a state of, uh, you know, just, like, existing beyond anybody else. Like, every micro uh, relationship is experiencing some kind of weird turmoil, and the macro situation is even more messed up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I would. So what would you rate, before we look at Rotten Tomatoes, which I have not seen yet, what would you call, what would you be your percentage rating? Uh, like, you know, like a 7.85. Wow. 7.8. I was going to say 78%. That's funny. Hey. I was say 78. Yeah. It's like pretty solid. I don't know. See, that's the thing is that I think, but like an 80% is a B if you're going by letter grades. I don't think it's at least no, like no, a B I'm plus. No, no. I'm going by percentages. <laughs> I'm not Percentage, questioning anything. 70, 78% is 78. like pr- is the majority of 100. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like pretty damn good rating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fun. Yeah, no. Like I think if I was on Rotten Tomatoes, I saw a horror movie had seventy eight percent. This is pretty go, good. This must, must be pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> pretty good horror movie, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, I had a thought, but it, it escapes me now. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna see. Moment of truth. Sure. Whoa! Hey! We were. I wasn't Woo! even trying to guess the tomato meter. I mean, we were so good. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, an audience score not too far behind. Wow, okay. I had no idea. Yeah. Oh. Well, we well were done. like, we were pretty much like right on the money. We were a little right. higher than them, but yeah, it's it's kind of funny. What is it? What is the consensus? I see you gets tripped up in its own narrative contortions. Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what a solid cast and an effective blend of scares and suspense makes this slow building mystery worth watching. Absolutely. I agree. hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's so funny how yeah. we were like right. Yeah. Or, uh, we were lined up with Rotten Tomatoes pretty well. That's a solid consensus right there. Yeah. Also, just real quick, props to, because you said the thing about the sound, and I was like, yeah, part of that made me wonder if some of these droning uh, score elements were to cover up some of that. So yeah. Just like, let it give way to just like crazy ass music. That said, really liked the music, and I also thought that like, Props to the location scout because they got so much out of yeah. this house and and the house also has to be able to sell it. So, uh, yeah, it was well, well uh, conceived and, and yeah. executed overall. Well, uh, they didn't do too much exterior, like the wood stuff they did. But that's I feel like it's kind of easy to find those locations. Main Street. Yeah. yeah. And the cop, the police, the station. police station. Yeah. So they didn't really change too much, but it doesn't make it, it, I don't become like hyper aware that we're we haven't left locations that often. Like I was, yeah, it doesn't feel restrained. Yeah, it doesn't feel like they couldn't afford to leave location. Yeah, it's like it's so much involved with this house, and then when you go like really far out and you find like the the camper van where he's got his you know kidnap victims, like that feels like it's really out on the fringes of everything. Yeah, um, yeah, that was uh. That was a nice surprise. Yeah. Well done, America. Well done, elevated America. <laughs> Guys, leave your thoughts down below. What did you think of ICU? Did you predict all this stuff? Did you hear about it via Netflix and watch it? Or have you heard of this movie for ages? Because, yeah, what does the trailer even have? 1.4 million views three years ago. It's kind of crazy to see this movie. Just fucking, it's it's yeah. nuts. I'm sure there's find its audience. I'm sure there's like I'm gonna type an ending explain. I'm sure there's like some big videos on that. Yeah, found found Flix has one from two point that's two point three million views. I wonder if any of these channels maybe helped really actually helped uh, expand the visibility for the movie because I don't know. There's only that one huge video, but at the same time, that could be enough to you know start that little wave of people finally checking it out and recommending it. Yeah, because I could, surprise. I could definitely see this being a movie people would want to talk about. I mean, yeah, I, I to me, when something goes number one on Netflix, I go, audiences must be enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and sharing it, guys. Leave your thoughts down below, and hey, let's end this with a pay- Chase Gardner. 
come break into the studio and live in the walls. I think you, you know, you're, you're very active on the Patreon, giving us support and whatnot. And you're also very active here on the YouTubes. And I feel like, you know, if anybody could create the right amount of tension in life by moving things around, but also maybe leaving little things to encourage us, that would be you. So you could get your jollies off making us question our own sanity, but then you could also reassure yourself that you're a good person by leaving us things that will enrich our lives somehow. And then you can also start your own channel, teaching people how to do exactly what you just did to their favorite YouTube channels. And then everyone's helping each other thrive and succeed. And then you can start your own Patreon and then get paid to break into all sorts of other people's houses. So uh, Chase... I don't expect any credit for this idea. Just uh, keep your pledge going, and uh, we'll see you next month and every month until you die in the closet over there. Love you, buddy. <laughs>